You are watching McLaren Port Huron Today's Health Program, and I'm speaking with Board Certified General Surgeon, Dr. Zubin Basenia, about appendicitis. Dr. Basenia, um, can you please tell us what is appendicitis? Appendicitis is simply like inflammation of the appendix. And tell me, uh, tell us where the appendix is located and kind of what its sure. function is. So the appendix is a little finger-like structure that's on the right colon, on the right side of your abdomen, uh, low towards the pelvis. And it's a organ that has some immune functions, okay? So it's located at the very beginning of the colon on the right side, and it has some immune functions in our gut. And uh, what, what exactly causes appendicitis? So usually appendicitis is caused by a piece of stool that becomes hardened within the appendix and forms like a stone. And then when that happens, the opening within the appendix, the lumen of the appendix gets blocked. And then there's some overgrowth of bacteria which creates some swelling. And eventually the appendix gets so swollen that the blood supply to the appendix is minimized and that creates significant inflammation and infection of the appendix. And so when, a patient, when it happens, what, is, what does a person feel? So typically people will say they had some indigestion, some vague abdominal pain, they may have some nausea, and they, they, most of the time they think, well, I'm having like a stomach flu. But that pain usually starts off near the belly button and then as time progresses, they sort of get sicker, and that pain will localize to the right lower quadrant. And how do you uh, diagnose appendicitis? So we can diagnose it clinically, like if we have a, you know, a male that comes in, and they have right lower quadrant pain, and they're exquisitely tender, and they give a description of pain that was periumbilical originally, and then located down the right lower quadrant, and we do some blood work, and it shows an infection. We sort of make the diagnosis clinically. Uh, most of the time, however, people come in the emergency room, they get evaluated, and they'll get a CAT scan that will show inflammation of the appendix. So ideally, um, you want to catch this before it advances too far. Correct. You can get very, very sick from appendicitis. So occasionally, I'll see a patient that you know stays home for four or five days, thinking it's going to get better, and then they finally can't take it anymore, and they come to the hospital. And in those cases, you can have actual gangrene or rupture of the appendix or an abscess form. So in those cases, it makes it for a much, much more difficult recovery with higher risk of postoperative abscess because the appendix is full of stool and that can leak out and create some problems. So in the perfect world, um, if you have appendicitis, you want to treat it as soon as possible. So a patient should come in to the ER when they first see those symptoms instead of... They definitely need to come in and get seen by their, either the family doctor or the emergency room to get checked, okay? Um, because if you wait on it, you can get very, very sick later. Right, so the complications from a ruptured appendix, as you said, re longer recovery. Well, sure, because if you have an abscess that forms, and an abscess is a localized infectious pocket, and it can be full of pus, and that sometimes needs to get drained, and we can sometimes do that with a CAT scan, placing a small drain in place. Sometimes we have to go back to the operating room to do an open exploration to drain these abscesses. So um, how is appendicitis usually treated? So it's funny, it's interesting, it's changed over time. So right in, in the old days, we used to do uh, an incision to remove the appendix and it would be in the right lower quadrant or down low in the midline. Today, we do it mainly laparoscopically, uh, meaning we use a telescope and we make small incisions, typically three small incisions to remove the appendix. Um, there has been some great change in the treatment algorithm of appendicitis where if someone has some very early appendicitis, that sometimes we'll treat it with antibiotics and let it settle down. Um, so that's something new that's changed. But by and large, most people will have their appendix removed laparoscopically. Yeah, and that's more of a minimally invasive surgery, so Correct. recoveries. So yeah, so it's much, much less stress to the patient. And we can do that safely if the appendix hasn't ruptured, okay? So the big problem occurs if there's rupture or gangrene of the appendix. That means bacteria is leaked out of the appendix and you have a higher risk of a post-operative abscess. But if we do it laparoscopically, it's early, there's no real significant infection going on. Most people recover very, very quickly. They'll spend one day in the hospital and go home the next day and return to work usually within a week. Very good. So tell us what happens during the procedure. So during the procedure, it's all about visualization of the appendix. If the appendix is not significantly inflamed, we, it's sort of easy to find, and we basically will grasp the appendix, we'll do a dissection of the appendix, so there's, a, there's something called the mesentery of the appendix that has a blood supply. We have to 
basically uh, ligate the small blood vessel that feeds the appendix, and then we will divide the appendix either with a special stapler or a special device that cuts and seals, and then we remove the appendix typically through a little small plastic bag that we place in the abdominal cavity, and then remove it through one of the small incision sites. And you had said a little bit about the recovery, so it's usually they're just here for one day? Usually for uncomplicated appendicitis, they'll be one day for antibiotics in the hospital, and then they'll go home on antibiotics typically. And then if it's straightforward, they'll be back to normal in about a week. And then again, if, it's, if there's uh, someone that waited too long, that's... If it's, if it's a complicated appendicitis, if there's rupture of the appendix, if there's gangrene, if there's already an abscess, that changes everything. So sometimes we have to have to put a drain alongside where the appendix was to drain off any of that fluid, and that will stay for one to two weeks after surgery, and that will be removed in the office. But, you know, appendicitis can be very, very serious. You want to avoid delaying the diagnosis of appendicitis. Right. So tell us again, what are the main symptoms of someone that you would want them to come to the ER? So right? people will typically complain of a sudden onset of peri-umbilical pain around their belly button, yeah. nausea, and the pain will persist and move typically to the right lower quadrant. Very good. Thank you so much for sharing this information with us. And thank you for watching McLaren Port here on today's health program. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like it and share it on your social channels. You can check out the entire video library at www.mclaren.org forward slash PH video.